egg fried rice, crispy shredded beef, pak choy, prawn dumplings, wasabi dumplings. So it's that time again, it's a Tuesday, and today we are in the heart of central London in Chinatown. There is a lot going on here. It's coming into autumn, it's a bit colder. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants in this area. And the reason I love this place so much is the dim sum. Amazing, I'm a big fan of dim sum, once a week at least, and I've been coming here for a while. We're gonna have a whole mixture of food as well. We're gonna try some chili shredded beef, and some egg fried rice, and some wasabi prawn. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We're really looking forward to it, and you guessed it, I am starving. Is it on? Yeah. So we're gonna order some food. It's a Tuesday, it's time to eat. So what I say here is the dim sum, cut to dim sum. We're gonna tick some boxes here. I'm gonna flash up the menu for you. And then on this side, we got a lot to choose from. So we're gonna get a selection. So the good ones here are the prawn dumplings. Wasabi prawn dumplings. Wasabi prawn, delicious. C3. C3, done. Deep fried whole soft shell crab with salt and pepper. And then let's get some main course dishes. Let's get the crispy chili shredded beef. We'll get one of these. Where's the rice? We'll get some pak choy. Where's the rice? You have some rice on here? Yes. Where is it? Ah. There we go. Soon after. Hey, how are you doing? So what are we starting with? Yeah, I'll show you. There's a wasabi prawn dumpling. Wow. And there's a prawn dumpling, the traditional one. And you have the chili oil and the soya sauce. Thank you. Thank Come you. back soon. <laughs> wow, wow. Lovely. So literally, one of my favorites. Hagao, prawn dumpling, wasabi prawn. Absolutely delicious, steamed. I think it's healthy, I like to think it's healthy. Who really knows? Huge amount of this stuff, doesn't look like much. Bit of an air pocket, because they are piping hot. Derby prawn, chili oil. One bite. There's a reason I come here every week for this dish. Literally, handmade by this woman in the window of this restaurant, and it's just delicious. If it's not ha if it's not made in store and it's frozen, I'm not interested. And they're so lovely here. They're so helpful. And during the lockdowns, where they could be open, these guys are open, but many places weren't. And I'd still come every week, support these guys, and I think they're doing good now. They're they're really busy. We've come a little quieter time just so we can film, but wasabi prawn. Wasabi kick. Major. And look, they've almost gone. How did that how long did that take? Like 60 yeah. seconds? 75 seconds? Round two. What's next? What have you got for us next? We can't wait. Uh, that's a uh, soft shell crab, salt and soft pepper. shell crab, yeah. salt and pepper, bit of chili on top. So let's go. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Very crunchy. Yes, chili oil, of course. Mm. Words, don't need words. Absolutely delicious. Got that bit of a chili kick, loads of garlic mixed in with some citrus in here. I think they put some lime in maybe or something. Crunch is there. You don't want to overcook, but you want it cooked enough that you have the crunch. Amazing. Okay, let's try where you pass over. Okay. 
I'm gonna try and be the cameraman. Let's give this a go. Yeah, I could. He's now be getting there. busy. I'm gonna be the other one now. Nice one. Good? Yeah, I really like this. So it's like fried crab with breadcrumbs, crunchy. I think they're gonna make us some uh, extra, those chicken things. Fresh mentee. On a cold day like today, a bit of tea. Exactly what we need. Let's cut to the kitchen. Oh, you ate like, half, oh, thank yeah, you. It's a soup dumpling. So that was the handmade dumpling she was making just yes. now. Amazing, thank you. So it's got chicken, chicken mince inside, and a little bit of liquid inside. It's gonna be. Mm. It's like a chicken soup inside with a chicken mince. Delicious. We've got the soy sauce which is the extra fine soy sauce. Watch your mouth when you eat these. Give it a second for the soup, see? It's all leaking out. Have a look. Coming out, that's the soup. I'm, I'm missing the best bit. Get soy sauce. So, a classic sh chili shredded beef, or crispy chili beef. We saw him cutting it inside. Thank you very much. And this is just lunch, so we saw the guy making the rice for us inside. Wok fried, some spring onions, some vegetables. Yeah. This is basically thinly cut beef, fried in like a batter. Very fast, very hard, like deep fried in oil. Actually one of the hardest dishes to make, for consistency. I think my favorite was wasabi palm. The one you ordered? Yeah. yeah. I think one of the things about Chinese food in London is that, or in England, sorry, it's very authentic. A lot of Chinatowns around the world, obviously. Not to say London's the best, but what you really get is an English version, slightly, of the Chinese food. I think we're all used to it. I think in America, from what I understand, like, I know Christmas Day, for instance, is a very big day for people to go and eat Chinese, as are other days. But in England, it's one of those meals a week. It's probably second behind what Indian food. And yes, we will be doing an Indian section soon. So your favorite so far was wasabi prawn? Wasabi prawn, yeah. I think I'm quite into these uh, soup dumplings. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so Chinese broccoli, bak choy, hak choy, slightly different variations, cooked with a lot of garlic, a bit of soy sauce, super delicious. Bit crunchy, you want to have a bit of a crunch, especially at the bottom end. Eat as much food as you can for lunch. Thank you. So you guessed it. It's that time. Guess the bill. Let's just go through what we had. Egg fried rice, crispy shredded beef, pak choy, prawn dumplings, wasabi dumplings, deep fried soft shell crab, chicken soup dumplings, were as a gift. So we're not gonna include those. Include 12, 12.5% service. What do you say? Yeah. How much? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, last time, like more or less, I knew, but this time I literally have no idea. So I'm, I'm gonna say... 46. Ooh, very close. Really? 49.80. Wow. 49.80. I think it's pretty good value. We're in central London. I always say that. We're in central London. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. What would you say was like the speciality, the best thing you served here? Best, best thing. Best thing. Dumplings? Which one? Which one? Which well, one in your opinion, you. My opinion. Yeah. Xiaolongbao. Xiaolongbao. Yes. Is that that's the prawn one, right? I mean no. the uh, pork. The, the chicken. The chicken. And the, pork. The, chicken the, pork. the chicken and the pork. Yes. And the prawn dumpling also the delicious. Thank you for having us. Great food. Guys, gotta come here. 
They're not paying me to say this, by the way. It's got to come here. Shanghai Modern. Look at it. Shanghai Modern. Chinatown. The end near the, near the car park. So what we do is take home what we don't eat. But what I'm interested in knowing is what you thought. What was your favorite dish? Please comment below. Be really interested to know. And also, if you think we should go to any particular restaurants, just let us know which ones. We're in London. We can go anywhere. So as far as a rating goes for that Chinese restaurant, I give it a nine out of 10. I think it's way up there with the best in London. It's not the highest priced place where you'd expect a nine out of 10, but pay three times the amount. So get yourself down there, it's really good. Hey Kurt, what do you think out of 10? I would say nine as well, it was really good. You can't say the same though. Okay. I'm only joking. I'll get that. It's a solid score, nine, I'll, I'll nine, nine from both of us. 9.1, even better.